Good evening. My name is Jill Callie, and I am the chairperson of the Old Bridge PTA President's Council. And on behalf of the Council, I would like to welcome you here this evening. We will begin with a brief statement from each candidate in the order they will appear on your ballot, followed by an open question and answer forum. The questions this evening are being posed by Old Bridge residents and taxpayers that have the same concerns as you. I urge you to listen to this program as well as to the one-on-one -on -one interviews that were recorded earlier this week. This will enable you to make an informed decision on who you want representing your children for the next three years. First, I would like to introduce candidate number one on your ballot, Donna Andriani. Good evening, everyone. My name is Donna Andriani, and as Jill just mentioned, I have position number one on the ballot for this election. I'm married. My husband is a school principal. I have one son who has gone to Shara Salk, Old Bridge High School, and is currently a senior at West Virginia University. I moved to Old Bridge about 18 years ago because I, as I was looking for a new home and we were searching, we came across this town that was extremely convenient to North Jersey, but had a multitude of recreational activities for children and the senior citizens. And any town that takes care of both ends of the age spectrum, I thought had to be a great place to live. I believe in the public school system. Public schools provide the opportunity for learning for all children. Public schools do not turn children away. We do not pick and choose which children we'd like to educate. Our arms are open to all. And while that is a wonderful, great concept, it comes with a price tag. I believe that Board of Education members provide the stewardship for the educational finances of the district. And we are the watchdog for our children. And without question, finances, taxes are important. But the children are the priority. I believe in giving back to the community. I've been a member of all the PTSAs all through my son's school career. And I've coached recreational sports and just about any athletic program you can name in Old Bridge. And I'm currently involved in Boy Scout Troop 219 as the rank advancement chairperson. And in case you didn't know, serving on the Board of Education is a volunteer, non-paid commitment. I am a retired science teacher, 36 years of service. For 10 of those years, I was the Road to College coordinator. And I was also the project-based learning consultant for the New Jersey Department of Education Office of Literacy. Uh, my areas of expertise are definitely in the areas of curriculum and instruction, learning styles, multiple intelligent theories, thematic learning, and career and college awareness. If I were to be asked about a platform, I would have to say that we are in the business of education. But education is not a business. Our children are not products from an assembly line. They are entitled to learn with instructional modalities that will engage each and every one of them. I hear a lot of comparisons to other towns in the area, especially East Brunswick. But if you're going to compare, compare all the facts, such as the fact that Old Bridge tax levy is $25 million less than East Brunswick. 25 million, that's an average. Over the last six years, it has gone from 22 million to 29 million. We charge less. So when you're making a comparison, we need to compare apples to apples regardless. While we need to streamline additional budgetary items so as to not overburden taxpayers, we have to provide a progressive education. A few years ago, the Board of Education decided to address the concept of the whole child. We put money into other areas, and you can see what has happened. We've got a championship band. We have recognized coaches. We have national schools of character and agricultural recognition from the Department of uh, the Interior and Agriculture. Now, we're refocused on academics, advanced placement courses, fully expanded language choices, full day kindergarten. We're doing wonderful things here. Old Bridge is a terrific place to live and raise a family. We're a strong community, and the children are the strength of that community for our future. 
and they deserve the best we can offer. Running a public school district is expensive, but the price of learning for each and every child is priceless. I thank you very much, and I'm looking for your support on Election Day. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Andriani. Next, I would like to introduce candidate number two on the ballot, Kelly Ellis Foster. Hi, thank you everyone. My name is Kelly Ellis Foster, and in three minutes I will try to tell you why I'm running for the Board of Ed and seek your support. Um, I will start a little bit about my professional background. I've worked at Honeywell International for 27 years. I started in a union manufacturing facility. Um, I worked at that point in finance and accounting and payroll, and then into HR. For the last 22 years, I've been in our global corporate headquarters in Morristown, New Jersey, uh, the whole time in some form of human resources, uh, mostly in uh, benefits administration, so health care, health plans, savings plan, pension plans. Uh, for the last about eight years or so, I've been responsible for driving our employee uh, self-service websites and designs and working with new technologies and how do we communicate to our employees. So basically, how do we get productivity out of technology? Uh, my population of the people I deal with are 130,000 global employees. So very similar to the 9,000 students we have here in Old Bridge, it's a diverse population. It is not a one-size-fits-all. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I manage tight deadlines, demanding clients, complicated requirements, and usually little to no money. So I think in addition to bringing new ideas and some perspectives to the Board of Ed, I know that at the end of the day, we are obligated to spend the taxpayer dollars wisely. But I am also a parent, uh, and I think I want the same as many of us do for our children. We want the best education. We want them to have the best experiences. We want them to be in a safe, nurturing environment that will be uh, successful to them for whatever they do when they leave our doors. Um, so as a, as a parent in the community, I worked in a lot of community service organizations. I was a den leader with my son in PAC 129. He then went on to uh, Boy Scouts 219, as Mrs. Adriani knows, and uh, became an Eagle Scout. Uh, I am still my daughter's Girl Scout leader. I started that when she was uh, in first grade, and now she is a sophomore. So I get to see these young women grow up, and they're just uh, amazing examples of our students here in Old Bridge. Um, I've been in many other things, such as the executive committee for the Shore Aid, which we raised money after Sandy, the alumni path. So if anybody saw Pink Flamingos last year, I might have snuck up on your lawn. Um, and I also founded the Glass Slipper Project, which is a nonprofit organization under the alumni path that uh, provides dresses and other uh, uh, services so students can attend prom. And the reason I think that's important is not only am I involved in the community, but all of those things I worked with a team. I worked with dedicated, amazing people in this town who want the same thing for our students. And I think being able to work as part of a team, listening to ideas, being open and collaborating is what would make this board successful. So uh, to summarize, because I think I'm out of time, um, I just think that my background, my skills, my passion will be uh, an addition to the board. And I would also say I have a Facebook page. Um, if you please feel free to join it and uh, send me any questions and we can talk. It's Kelly Ellis Foster for Old Bridge Board of Ed. And please come out uh, November 4th. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce candidate number three, Richard Dunn. Why is this not working? There you go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Richard Dunn. I'm seeking re-election to the Old Bridge Board of Education. Over the last three years, I've dedicated myself to ensuring that the educational enrichment in our schools is not only the finest, but fair and equitable for all students. I've been a steadfast leader on the board who has advocated and supported many of the successful programs 
that we have have today. These programs include the implementation of a full day kindergarten program, the introduction of iPads into the classroom, supported and advocated for additional in-class support for our special needs children, along with supporting the job coaching and social skills program. Advocated for retention and addition of elementary school councils in all 12 elementary schools. Fought for an enhancement of our, of our athletic and performing arts programs, and the results are clear and evident based upon their award-winning success. These are just a few of our educational accomplishments during my tenure on the Board of Education. We cannot forget that we also improved our security measures within the district and upgraded our technology infrastructure as well. These successes don't happen by accident. They only happen through a united, cordial partnership between the administration and the Board of Education, and we must continue to work together for the betterment of the school district. At the same time, we are implementing these worthwhile educational programs and resources. We were able to keep the tax levy at a minimum over the last three years, and one year where the Board of Education gave back to the taxpayers of Old Bridge $1.1 million. That's extraordinary to give back money to the taxpayers. I take my, I take my, I take very seriously my fiduciary responsibilities as a Board of Education member, and we must find a fair balance between education and an available tax dollars, which in my opinion has been the case over the last three years. There is much more that must get accomplished over the next three years. If afforded the opportunity to serve once again by being reelected to the board, I will advocate and fight for the following. Preserving all academic enrichment and special needs programs. Keeping this community schooling ideal intact and preserving neighborhood schools. Increase specialized programs to keep the majority of the special needs students within the district to save millions in tuition costs. Continue with the implementation of technology in our classrooms. Further improve our security measures to keep our students safe. Improvement and enhancement of facilities and our infrastructure. My professional experience as a vice president of operations for a large real estate company, along with my educational background and my volunteerism as a fire service line officer, provides me with a unique skill set that affords me the qualities and abilities and knowledge to be a well-rounded Board of Education member. I want to continue to fight just as I do fire, fighting fires to ensure that the quality of the education of our children is the finest. There will be no better leader and advocate for the children of the Board of Education than Richard Dunn. Vote number three, Richard J. Dunn for the Old Bridge Board of Education. Thank you. Thank you. Next, you will be hearing from candidate number four, Frank Weber. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, my name is Frank Weber, and I'm number four on the ballot. I've been a resident of Oldbridge for 40 years, 35 of which I've served as a volunteer in one or another organization, including as a coach uh, in soccer, in basketball, as a league president in both the boys and girls soccer leagues, on the Oldbridge Planning Board. I'm currently the president of the Board of Trustees of the Oldbridge Library. It's a great town. I've raised four children here. They've gone through the school system. And one of the reasons I got involved is I felt it's important to give back, and I still do. My voting record as a board member will show that my main priority has always been to provide quality education for our children, but at the most affordable cost to taxpayers. We've had two, uh, two increases in the last two years, 3.68% two years ago and 2% this last. That compares to the county tax rate having gone up a half percent and the municipal tax rate having gone up a half percent. They get it. This board does not seem to. During my years on the board, I have consistently put in the time and the effort to find ways to reduce costs. Because of a question I asked, because my wife is a licensed RN in New York and New Jersey, we changed the way we deliver nursing structures, which has saved cumulatively since that change, which was fought by the uh, union and we prevailed, has saved $4 million to date and will save for approximately $400,000 this year alone. In 2001, I served as the board president when the referendum was approved. And prior to that, I had served as the long range planning to chair, uh, chairperson for over a dozen years, which did all of much of the underlying research that turned into the referendum. 
Uh, we had a great coalition of uh, all of the schools participating, all of the PTAs supporting us to get one of the highest pass rates for that referendum. Unfortunately, we find ourselves currently in different times where massive spending without adequate research or long-range planning is done repeatedly. This is unacceptable to me and should be to you, given the difficult economic times that many of our residents are facing. Projects that include the concession stand, baseball field, and iPads were done. I believe over $3 million more was spent than should have been to accomplish the same goals. Unlike my incumbent opponents, I did not vote for any of these projects. Based on my research and experience, I felt the expenditures were not justified by the edge and did not provide the educational value to the majority of students and adequate planning had not been done. Some of the funds could have been better used to properly prepare our schools for the implementation of all-day kindergarten. We have 20, over 23 students in a class at the kindergarten level now, which is the highest class size averages from K through five. The other classes are all averaging 21. I do not have any conflicts and I, I'm free to participate in all discussions. And getting back to the kindergarten, there are some 69 or 70 children who are not going to their neighborhood schools because there isn't room for them. They're being bused to other schools. That's gonna be a problem later on when it comes to choice of what happens with first grade. Please do your homework and elect board members who can work to deliver the education our children deserve at a cost that Old Bridge taxpayers can afford. As a proven innovator and cost saver, my actions prove that I'm a board member who has made and will continue to make a difference. I ask for your support. My name is Frank Weber, I'm number four in the ballot, and I thank you for the, your time. I appreciate those who came out, thank you. Thank you. Next, you'll be hearing from candidate number five, Ramon Paulino. Good evening. I'm Ramon Paulino. Uh, some of you may know me, some of you may not. Uh, I commend some of the other candidates for their longevity in the community. I have been in the community for six years, and when I came in, I hit the ground running. I became a volunteer firefighter uh, in my community, in my area. I joined a couple of local township boards. I helped out where I could. I was a volunteer uh, coach for eight years for Pop Warner, um, not only for, for trying to assist with the Old Bridge teams, but also other cities as well. So lending my time to civic duty has never been a question for me. It's never been a what if, it's never been a standing point, it's never been an advertisement for me personally. It's, it's always been something internalized, something that I grew up with. I grew up with a mother that was a PTA president. I grew up with a mother that held multiple positions within the school system, who fought for teachers, for students, and for the community. And she instilled those same beliefs in me. And I want the opportunity to do the same thing for my children. Because more importantly than anything I've ever done, I'm a father. I'm a father of two Old Bridge District school students, two nephews, two nieces. I'm fully invested in the, in the successes of this district. There are no conflicts with me. There's no side decisions possible that I won't consider without considering them first. No matter how important a decision is to be made, if it doesn't have the impact on our students, and it doesn't have the support of our teachers, and it certainly doesn't have the support of our townspeople, it shouldn't be made. I don't care if it makes headlines. That's not what I wanna be here for. I wanna be here for the residents. I wanna be here for the students. I wanna be here for the teachers. Now, I've, uh, the question was asked to me previously how many uh, board meetings I've attended, and I've attended a few, and I've caught many more online. That's a great resource. But one thing that I see when I come to these meetings, I look in the back of the room and, and I don't want to call it disgust because I believe they're happy to be where they are. But it's a content that some of the people involved in our student lives have for this board for not listening to them. That's not fair to them and it's not fair to our kids. If they're not happy, our kids aren't happy. 
One thing that I'd like to bring and that sets me apart from the rest is I'm a technologist. I've been a technologist for over 20 years. I know I look young, thank you. I, I try. But uh, the fact of the matter is, is I know what it means to be overlooked. Nobody thinks about technology until it's the, the last resort, until it's needed, until there's a problem. I want to bring it to the forefront because we need a competitive edge in our schools. We are, we are hemorrhaging students, despite what some of the numbers may look. They dwindle, and we need to get that back. My name is Ramon Paulino. Vote for me. Thank you. And next, you will be hearing from candidate number six on your ballot, George Gelf. Hello, my name is George Goff. I'm going to be number six on the ballot. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out here tonight, the public and the volunteers. And I especially have to thank my family, uh, my wife Colleen, my son Garrett, and my daughter Samantha for allowing me to run as I do realize this is gonna take a huge part of my family life that I treasure so much. But I do also have a strong love for Old Bridge. I've lived here for 16 years and have been involved with Sayward South Little League as a coach for five and on a sponsorship director for three of those years. Um, I'm currently serving on the Park and Recreation Advisory Board for Old Bridge. Um, I worked on the New York Stock Exchange and the American Stock Exchange for 19 years. I was, current, I was laid off in 2007 doing technology upgrade, and now I'm currently being employed by the state of New Jersey at the DMV. If I were to be elected on the board, I would have no conflict of interest. I will never have any. I believe that if you do have a conflict of interest, you should remove yourself from the board regardless of the rules because that's just unethical. School's population has declined 700 students in the past five years, and it will continue to decline over those next years. Yet, our budget continues to grow as if there were any law students. Why is that? Those numbers just don't add up. We need better leadership from certain board members. We need leaders, not politicians, on the board. We have strong board members we need, string, we need strong board members who can not only lead us through the good times when we have lots of revenue coming in, but through the difficult times like we are living in now, when they take pride and praise for the things that they accomplish, like imp implementing a full day kindergarten at a cost of approximately $700,000. But they also need to take responsibility for when the truth comes out that that cost is almost double, almost $1.4 million. They either made terrible mistakes with the numbers, or just outright misrepresented the numbers. If we can have true fiscal responsibility, we can give the schools and teachers more tools and assets that they need. If we learn from errors of the past, we can accomplish this. Remember, we are here for the children. I want to thank the teachers as they do so much for our kids. And if I were PD elected, I would use current and past board members and the teachers with different and similar views as mine as a great source of knowledge so I can make well-resourced research and informed decisions. Remember, it's about the children and the taxpayers, both young and old, of our town who pay for our school's budget through their property taxes. It doesn't make a difference whether you own or rent. The decisions of the board affects us all, and we need to be true to ourselves. Board members need to, be remem need to remember that it's not about the Old Bridge residents with children in the school system, but also to our seniors that contribute money through their fixed income to our budget. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out here tonight and for watching this at home. Thank you and God bless America. And remember, I am number six on the ballot. Thank you.